Welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we learn another technique that can be used in MapReduce solution that is site distribution of data. Site distribution of data can be done through distributed caching mechanism. A dataset can be distributed to the task nodes and mapper and reducers can read the local copies present with them at the time they are performing map and reduce tasks. This mechanism is known as distributed caching mechanism. This method of solution is generally applied when there are operation on two or more datasets which involves one very small dataset. It can be the case where a small information needs to be looked up at the time of map or reduce. This small data is not small enough to fit in the memory of the program nor is it a good idea to make it go through the shuffle and sort steps. Let us understand this with an example. Let us consider the one we have already discussed in the last lesson that they are billing details and they are projects and we need to expand the project information in billing dataset. In this case, it can happen so that there would be a limited number of projects. So in this case, a better idea would be to distribute the smaller data set using the distributed cache. So the idea is to use this mechanism when the data set you want to look up at is small but not all that small that you can put it in the map or reduce program itself. So in all those cases where we need to refer to the relatively smaller data set at map or reduce phase, we would use this concept of distributed cache. The file that needs to be distributed is specified at the time of run by using hyphen file. Following hyphen file is the path of the file which needs to be distributed. You can as well distribute Hadoop archives using hyphen archives. And just in case if your jar file needs to access another utility jar file and you want to include it in your class path, you can do that as well by using the hyphen libjar option. This is useful when you are using external jar files for their operations in your code. On programming side of things, you need not make any changes to the driver class if it is run using toolrunner. Toolrunner abstracts all the process to handle the arguments and the programmer need not code anything in the driver class for that. At the time of map or reduce task, the distributed dataset is connected to in the setup function. Setup function is the function which is called once per mapper or reducer. So anything relating to setup that needs to be performed once per map or reducer object, all that activity can be done in this setup function. The dataset connection thus established in the setup function can be used during the map function as required. Let us see what happens and how the distribution takes place. This is the diagram which we had seen in the earlier lessons. At step 3, when the job client copies the job resources, it copies the distributed cache as well with a very high replication so that every task node has a copy very near to it. Then at the step 10, the yarn child retrieves these job resources like the jar file and distributed cache and copies over to the local machine. So it is in this manner the distributed cache is transferred to the local machine where a map or a reducer can refer and use it.